Presidents Gengob and Ramaphosa say they evaluated the progress in the implementation of previous decisions and agreements. Therefore, the two leaders directed that an audit of the cooperation agreements would help a certain critical areas where trade and investments are needed the most. They are also to consider the current developmental challenges facing both Namibia and South Africa to be discussed during the session of the Binational Commission later on. A presence here today, together with the large delegation of government leaders, is a demonstration of the fact that President Ramaphosa and I will continue with the fight for socio-economic justice for our people. Just like South Africa, Namibia is a young nation going through the trials and tribulations of maturing constitutional democracies. As a maturing, democratic, uh, maturing constitutional democracy, as part of our democratic franchise, fundamental rights are guaranteed in our constitutions, including property rights, freedom of movement, association, etc. However, all freedoms, including that of the media, comes with responsibility and accountability. What has been gained can also be lost if handled carelessly. Your Excellency, in Namibia we are working hard to ensure that our democracy delivers goods and services and prosperity to our citizens. Despite our best efforts, and intentions as a government, the past eight years of my presidency have been extremely difficult for our nation. Namibia went through a global commodity crisis, the worst droughts ever recorded in our history, and the devastation of COVID-19, which took lives of many of our citizens and contracted economies. A need for an intercession review mechanism of the Binational Commission decisions and commitments has also been identified. This is in view of the length of the time between the sessions, which take place every two years. In fact, as you and I also agreed and reiterated, we need to be certain that they are fit for purpose and that they continue to serve our respective developmental goals. That is, the various agreements, memoranda of understanding and various instruments that have been entered into between our two countries over a number of years. As neighbors with deep historical ties, we share the same aspirations for our people with regard to development, employment, quality, eradicating poverty, and reducing the levels of unemployment. We are therefore committed to deepen our cooperation, particularly in the area of trade and investment. Namibia will host the Binational Commission of the two countries in Ventuk on a date yet to be announced. Blanche Corres' NBC News. Pretoria, South Africa.